put x plus y equal to z and take the derivative of both sides with respect to x, we get 1 plus dy upon dx is equal to dz upon dx. And therefore, dy upon dx is equal to dz upon dx minus 1. Therefore, the given differential equation, which is cos of x plus y times dy upon dx is equal to 1, becomes cos of x plus y times in brackets dz upon dx minus 1 is equal to 1. x plus y is equal to z, therefore cos of x plus y is equal to cos z. Multiply both sides of this equation with sec z and therefore we are left with dz upon dx minus 1 is equal to sec z which implies that dz upon dx is equal to 1 plus sec z. Separating the variables, we get dz upon 1 plus sec z is equal to dx. Now integrate both sides and add the constant of integration on the right hand side. Therefore, the right hand side is equal to x plus c. Therefore, we get x plus c is equal to integral of dz upon 1 plus sec z which is equal to 1 plus 1 upon cos z. This is equal to integral of cos z dz upon 1 plus cos z. Add and subtract 1 in the numerator and therefore the right hand side can be written as integral 1 minus 1 upon 1 plus cos z dz which is equal to z minus integral 1 upon 1 plus cos z and 1 plus cos z can be replaced with 2 cos square z upon 2. The right hand side is equal to z minus half of integral of sec square z upon 2 dz which is equal to z minus half tan z upon 2 times 2. This implies that x plus c is equal to z minus tan z upon 2 and replacing z with x plus y we get x plus c is equal to x plus y minus tan of x plus y upon 2. x cancels across the left hand side and the right hand side and we therefore get y minus tan of x plus y upon 2 is equal to c which is the required solution.